All right, folks, the Evolve 3 laptop has arrived. This is the Micro Center uh, budget laptop. This thing is about $60 right now at Micro Center. You can also get them on eBay and other online retailers for more money because you got to pay for shipping and all that wonderful jazz. Inside this thing is an Intel Celeron, an MMC drive. So kind of like SD cards or flash, they do have a limited life cycle, a limited write cycle. So be aware of that. It will probably outlast your love for this laptop. And if it doesn't, this laptop has an SD card slot and a couple of USB ports that it can boot off of. So it's not a total loss. What I'm gonna do is give you a couple of videos on this. The first one is gonna be a real quick tear down, look on the inside and see what is going on. Let's get right to it. Oh, the ultimate laptop is here. This is the, the Fang Top, the Evolve 3 that everyone is so talking about. This is the power supply for it. This is where the magic begins for us ham radio operators. Output 12 volts, two amps. So that is a, uh, <laughs> that, I bet that's gonna be a noise maker right there. Just from looking at the size of it and then the output amount of power that it puts out. This is an interesting uh, output power connector, barrel connector. Let me see what my caliper says about it. 3.4, and I'm, ne I'm never gonna be able to get the inside of this. But a quick search online tells me that this is a 3.5 by 1.35 millimeter jack. So if you guys want to make up another cable, I am probably gonna wind up just cutting this off because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a noisemaker. Right, let's put this off to the side. Next up, we have, ta-da, the laptop itself. It's pretty lightweight, pretty small. Model MZB1164G64GW10, for those of you playing along at home. So MZB1. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. If it looks as good on the inside as it does on the outside, it's pretty, oh wow. Er. Pretty straightforward. Oh, there's a camera. I wasn't expecting a camera. Intel inside. It won't even tell you which Intel inside it is. Trackpad's a little rough. Keyboard, eh. Keyboard's kind of mush. I'm not even gonna turn it on before I take this back cover off. These are all Phillips head screws. I'm not used to friendly disassembly. Let's see, we have our iFixit kit here. And we're looking at, I'm gonna guess these are P1s. Number one Phillips. No, they're smaller than that. Whoa, number zero. Are we gonna do number zero? There we go, number zero, number zero Phillips. That's interesting. Let me whiz out all these screws, I'll be right back. Four across the front are short. One, two, three, four, five around the backside are long. Any surprises or is it just plain screws? There we go. All right, what do we have in here? This label will turn red when get wet. No warranty if product got water in. Excellent. I didn't know there was a warranty. That's impressive. All right, so we are missing the header for 4G modem. Heatsink for the processor, battery pack. Battery pack is screwed in, is that right? It is a 7.6 volt rated voltage. Charging voltage is 8.7, uh, 5.5 milliamp hours, 48.1 watt hours it wasn't really stuck down there's nothing under there anyway just the touchpad and the two speakers so we'll go ahead and screw that back down i'm not going to take the heat sink off we'll find out what processor is in it by asking it instead of violating it there is definitely not much to this machine i think the best part of this so far without turning it on yet <laughs> is going to be the fact that it's got a keyboard a mouse and a screen and that's really the selling feature for me above a raspberry pi Let's take a, a walk around the outside for the ports. We have an SD card port, a non-blue USB port, and a blue USB port. So this is USB 2.0. Headphones, DC power jack, mini HDMI, not regular size HDMI, so you're gonna need a special cable for that. And USB 3.0. I love playing with new equipment. This laptop has been a lot of fun, the Evolve 3. Putting it back together is the opposite of taking it apart. 
wasn't really any surprises on taking it apart either. Uh, inside, there is no 4G uh, LTE modem, and there's no edge card connector for it either. So I won't be able to pull out the modem and put in an SSD. I will look to see if there's a way to put an edge card connector in and put an SSD in. If there is, I will make a video on that in the future. There is a link for the micro HDMI connector that this thing needs to go from micro HDMI to regular HDMI so you can plug in an external screen. And coming up next, we're going to do some more work on this laptop and some more fun stuff. So be sure to check out this video right over here. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.